Wow, Brainy Yard. That's a lot of sweets. We all crave ice cream every once in a while, but geez, your fridge is packed with nothing but sugary treats. We think it's high time you learn a thing or two about how sugar affects the body, specifically your brain, if you ate nothing but sugary treats for 60 days straight. Hope you can maintain that sweet tooth, because today we are serving you the facts of too much sugar. Humans love sugar. No surprise, right? After all, it's in everything. Our snacks, our coffee, power bars, salad dressings, soda, even flavored waters can't escape this sweet little sweetener. Our brains just can't get enough of it. See, sugar in small portion amounts is actually really good for you. Glucose, which is a simple sugar called a carbohydrate, is what causes your pancreas to release insulin to your bloodstream. This hormone is what tells your cells it's time to absorb the sugar from your blood and they in turn use it for energy. It's even more important for your brain, as glucose is used by the nerve cells in your gray matter to help them work. Without the good sugars in your bloodstream, your brain's cells wouldn't be able to process information. Any glucose that is left over goes right to your liver and muscles, and is now stored as glycogen, which can be used for energy at a later time. Sure seems like sugar ain't too bad, huh? Well, as with everything in life, moderation is key and too much of a good thing can be a very bad thing. As is the case with too much sugar. Eating sugar also releases the feel-good chemicals, dopamine and serotonin, in your brain. And believe it or not, your brain can become addicted to the good feelings they give you. This is the same thing that happens to cocaine users. Your body craves that first high it received, and then it will always be striving to get back to that wonderful feeling. But it never really is as good the second, third, or fourth time, and your body will just keep craving those sweets. But the causes of cravings are not just chemical. Your emotions can play a part in your sugar cravings. As humans do seek out the pleasure sugar gives them if they are in a bad mood, pregnancy can also cause sugar cravings, which scientists believe may happen due to shifting hormones, which can affect taste and smell receptors. Ah, but now we get to the really not fun facts. One recent study showed that sugar can actually be worse for you than salt. It was found that participants whose diet was 10 to 25% added sugars had a 30% increase in their chances to die from cardiovascular disease. On top of that, if you eat more than 25%, your risk has now tripled. The most common added sugar in those processed foods you love so much is high fructose corn syrup. And while this stuff may make your food taste fantastic, it's arguably the worst kind of added sugar out there. A study from the University of Utah had scientists feeding high fructose corn syrup to mice. They saw a reduction in the mice's fertility and lifespan. It's scary stuff, Brain Yard. So what would happen if you traded out all other foods with just sugar? How would your body fare after 60 days of nothing but sweets, candies, donuts, and all the ice cream you could eat? Well, this sudden intake of only sugar would hit your body pretty hard and pretty fast. The first thing you would likely notice is your skin no longer has that healthy glow. Studies show that over time, an overabundance of sugar in your diet will cause your skin to lose its elasticity, which manifests as wrinkles and sagging. Your mood would also be dramatically affected. And we're not just talking that crash you would feel after each meal. All that sugar can cause feelings of anxiety and over time lead to depression. Also, all this overload would cause your body to release too much insulin. This can lead to serious conditions like hypoglycemia or insulin resistance, which is when your body can't absorb the glucose fast enough, which results in it building up in your bloodstream and liver. This can lead to prediabetes and then diabetes. This is exactly what happened to writer and documentarian Damon Gamu, who decided to eat 40 teaspoons of sugar a day for 60 days. He made sure to have nutritionists and doctors keep a close eye on him during his experiment, and the results of his new diet were shocking. Damon gained 5 pounds in the first 12 days, and then went on to show signs of fatty liver disease in the first 18 days. When it was all said and done, he had gained 19 pounds, had pre-type 2 diabetes, and his waist had gained an extra four inches. If you want to know the full story of Damon's journey, be sure to check out his documentary, aptly titled, That Sugar Film. Well, that's the facts, Brainyard. Too much sugar really ain't that sweet. The solution? We say to keep an eye on your processed foods intake and an extra close eye on those foods you wouldn't think have sugars. By being responsible, 
you can wolf down that pint of Ben and Jerry's you love so much every once in a while.